There he is. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, there he goes. What a jumper. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Tyler's Real Fishing. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the drop shot. What makes it so special as a finesse tactic and showing you all that it can catch some absolutely huge bass, especially some big smallmouth bass. There he is. Yes, there we go. If you wanna catch fish like this on the drop shot, stay tuned. Let's talk about it. What's happening folks, my name is Tyler and welcome back to Tyler's Real Fishing, the channel where you guys can become better bass anglers by every single video you watch. If you guys are not subscribed yet, please make sure to hit that subscribe button because we are growing like crazy and I want you guys to be involved in everything that we are doing. Now, because the channel is growing like crazy, I'm gonna go back and cover some topics that are kind of uh, rudimentary for I think uh, most you know expert anglers, pretty easy to understand, but especially for a lot of you anglers that are just beginning bass fishing, these techniques may be totally unknown to you. Uh, I don't really have any uh, crazy, you know, up in the sky uh, tips when it comes to them. I just know how to do them right and how to catch fish with doing them. And one of those is going to be the topic of today's video, the drop shot. Uh, now today we're in upstate New York, mostly bed fishing for giant smallmouth bass, which you will see plenty of fish catches like this one. But he's not coming. Oh, oh. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> but first I wanna sit down and talk about what a drop shot is, how to rig one, most of the time how to work one, and then we're gonna hop on the front deck and show y'all some fish catches from today's action. So uh, when it comes to the drop shot, it's a special technique because it allows, you know, it's more, more finessey of course, so when your fish are not eating your larger style lures, the drop shot can definitely get some bigger fish to bite and just put more fish in general in the boat for you. Now the drop shot is a special lure because to my knowledge, it's the only lure that actually allows you to specifically fish slowly on a specific target, whether it's a dock, piece of wood, a grass line, and actually still keep the lure up in the water column. So most of the time, whether you're fishing a jig, a uh, Cinco, uh, you know, a crankbait, those are either gonna be all the way on the bottom or moving faster through the water column. And of course, you can catch fish on both of those. But the drop shot is unique in that it is the only one that keeps a weight on the bottom and you're cooking your, in your soft plastic up from it anywhere from one foot to three foot in my experience. So we're gonna take my spinning rod here. It is my drop shot special. It's the Lou's TP1 uh, spinning rod with the, uh, I have the inshore 3000 size. All of my spinning rods are the 3000 size. Uh, the reasoning for that is because it holds more line. The line actually spools off the reel easier. Uh, that's just my personal experience. I like the 3000s the most. I've got 20 pound CR Smackdown braid and then I've got it to a uh, eight pound fluorocarbon leader today. And so what you're gonna do with the drop shot, we're gonna see if we can get the camera in here the best that we can. Now the components of what you need for a drop shot are, are two main things. You need one hook like this this here is a circle hook, an octopus hook, drop shot hook. They all have the same names. I actually discussed them in my uh, all hook sizes and types videos. I'll have that linked below as well. Um, but you need a small mosquito hook like this or a size one aught or two aught Texas free hook, depending on what type of drop shot you're doing. And then you also need some kind of drop shot weight. I like the teardrop weights the best. Here's a Strike King tungsten teardrop weight. And so it's super, super simple, but uh, it definitely took me a while to, uh, to get the hang of. So I'm gonna take, you know, a longer leader than usual when I'm tying a, a Palomar knot. Of course, I think you can use basically any knot with this, but I tie a Palomar. I will pinch the line just like that. Then I will shove the line through the top of the hook. So as you can see, the hook here has a top where the point is and a bottom where the bend is. I will shove the little bend in my line of the Palomar through that. Then as you can see, I have the loop the hook and the long tag end this time. Make sure you leave yourself quite a bit of room. I'm gonna tie the Palomar knot right around the hook, just like you would any other hook, any other lure. Wet it down, tie it nice and slow. And then you're gonna say, well, what do I do now? Do I cut off the tag end? No, you do not. With the drop shot, you actually take that long tag end that you have right here, and you shove the end of it right back down through the top of the hook. So hopefully y'all can see that on camera. If you can't, I bet you can understand. You shove it right down there through the top and you pull it through. So when you pull your line, the main line and the leader, the hook sits straight up in the air. Let's see if you can see it. Just like that. That's exactly how you want your hook to sit. And so now we are ready for the weight. Right now I have a little bit longer of a leader than I would like, but I'm actually gonna keep it about a foot and a half. The Strike King weights here are great because they have a little keeper on them that you can kind of force the line into. I shove the line into the, the uh, little keeper there, and then I pull it on through, 
And just like that, you have yourself about a foot and a half long drop shot. Perfect for catching some big smallmouth bass. But not only is it a smallmouth catcher, I've caught some big largemouth bass in those clear water lakes in Texas, as well as some big spotted bass as well on a drop shot. Now, where do you throw a drop shot? You can really throw a drop shot anywhere, anywhere that you have fish that are suspended. So whether it's deeper over rocks, over grass, around docks, a lot of the same places you throw a shaky head and a Ned rig, kind of my, my three favorite little soft plastics in terms of finesse soft plastics. Uh, but like I said, the drop shot is special because it actually elevates it off the bottom. So in terms of bait selection, I'm mostly throwing uh, smaller style soft plastics, whether I have the Strike King Dream Shot, right here we've got the strike king uh drop shot half shell which is actually the one that i'm going to rig on right now green pumpkin is really my favorite drop shot color there's other colors like morning dawn and clear and shad colors really depends on what you're going after you have to know what type of forage your bass are feeding on so if your bass are feeding on bait fish yeah, you'll probably still catch some on a drop shot throwing a green pumpkin half shell, but you're not gonna be as effective as if you were throwing a tiny white soft plastic. And like I said, a drop shot is mostly little, you know, three to four inch soft plastics, usually straight tailed. That way, if you take your hook here, you nose hook it just like that, you are ready to go catch yourself some big, all nasty bass. Now that is enough talking about rigging and uh, where to throw it. Let's talk about how you work this thing to catch the most bass possible. Now one thing I forgot to mention that's, that's real important, at least in my experience, is that I wanna use the lightest weight possible. So if I'm throwing a drop shot in a heavy current situation, so a river like the St. Lawrence River, any creeks or streams, you're probably gonna have to use a little bit heavier of a drop shot weight, maybe uh, a quarter ounce or maybe even up to uh, three eighths of an ounce. You usually don't go above that unless I'm fishing in some heavy, heavy current um, or else you're gonna have to beef up your, uh, your rod and reel combo as well. Right here, I've got a quarter ounce weight because it fits the light current that I was fishing in. And like I said, about a foot and a half liter because those fish are kind of cruising about a foot and a half to two feet off the bottom. So. I'm gonna cast it out there. We're in a shallow bay right now, so I'm not gonna, not gonna catch anything. But uh, gonna let it, of course, sink all the way to the bottom. And one thing that I thought uh, you had to do when working a drop shot when I was first beginning, I remember vividly standing on my front deck of my boat, watching my graph and trying to watch the lure itself, the drop shot soft plastic, come up, up and off the bottom without moving the bait. So I thought if the hook, if the, the weight was here, your soft plastic was here, you had to move it without moving the weight like this. That's actually not the case. Most of the time, uh, the fish are not even gonna notice the weight on the bottom. They're gonna be so focused on looking at, the, at the, uh, the soft plastic. So, like I said, cast it out there, let it sink to the bottom, get your rod tip tight. I like to keep it about a, I mean, if you're looking at the angle right here, I don't know, it's about a 10 o'clock right here angle. You kind of give it some shakes, five or six of them, and then give it a bigger lift. So maybe move it two feet. Reel in your slack, give it five or six little shakes. I'm talking like, four to six inch movements of your rod tip, then bring it up off the bottom and repeat. And uh, like I said, any sort of rock shoal, weed line. Now, of course, if you're fishing in weeds, you may have to throw a longer drop shot leader because it'll, you'll have to get your drop shot bait a little bit higher up uh, above the weeds. But this is a great way to catch fish, especially when everybody else is throwing, uh, throwing a Ned rig, throwing a, a Senko, you know, your standard grass and rock lures. Uh, a drop shot can definitely get a lot of fish in the boat. So without further ado, let's hop right here on the front deck and catch you guys some big drop shot smallmouth. There's one. There's one. Ayo. I don't think he's big, but he's not coming. Oh, oh, oh here he goes. <laughs> he's not bad though. Are there more fish in this direction? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. Colton's gonna find out. We got him on the drop shot. He's not a big fish, but you know what? He's not bad either. And just like that, folks, I made a cast right along the side of a rock bar, totally where I couldn't see. Could have been a bed, could have just been a fish cruising around. My guess he was just a cruiser. And we got him. Beautiful fish. I love these fish so much. Oh, they're so gorgeous. And just like that, the mosquito hook got him right in the top corner of the mouth. It's gonna pop out nice and easy probably. Actually, it was stuck pretty good. There we go. Gorgeous fish. Little New York two-pounder. Thank you, buddy. We'll have a nice life. Haha! <laughs> Little guy. Little guy on the drop shot just kind of flipped it over there and saw him and I caught him. Oh, hello. Just come on. Come up in here. Not that hard, Keith. Not that hard. Thank yeah. you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Goodbye. We gave it a nice little uh, flip on down there. Got him. Got him. There we go. 
Not a big one, but another nice one. Gee, this fight's so dang hard. It's amazing. This guy's a skinny boy. Doesn't have a whole lot of girth to him. Been doing that P90X. Yeah, this guy is toned. Lame. What we want is a nice, fat, obese uh, coronavirus couch a, potato. Wally kind of couch. <laughs> there we go. Another nice one on the drop shot. Still no giants. Today is not a day full of giants so far, but I guarantee you folks in this video, we're gonna get y'all a big one. Oh, oh, I had him. He stole my whole worm. Whole he stole the whole operation. You're gonna get him. You're gonna get him. Oh, can you uh, step off this middle thing here? This thing here. We got him. There we go. Yes, sir, Colton. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's big. I'm gonna get the net, don't step backwards. Oh, gosh. That's a nice one, dude. Come on in, shopping cart fish. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes, there we go. That's a chunker. I think that would go four pounds, right? We'll see. We'll, we'll see what that one goes. PB? Well, no, your PB is a 4.02, I think, right? Oh, gosh. Yeah, that'll get you lines on your hands. What do you think? I like it. Yeah? I like it, too. Let's give that boy away once I get away from this dock. Governor, right? All right, let me get in there. Oh no. There we go. This fish is, oh, no, 3.864. Oh, tough. What's go. my PB? 4.02. No PB, but you know what? Nice fish on the drop shot. Yeah, you love to see it. You love to see it. He was just hanging out next to that shopping cart. <laughs> and I decided to go shopping with him. <laughs> you mean shopping using him? Yeah. You shopped, you shopped for him. I shopped for him. Should be full energy. Yeah. Come on. Oh yeah. Let's go. Drop shot, baby. No. Yeah, I have one, but he's small. There you go. Beautiful. He's beautiful. He's got spots on him. There's one. A little guy. <laughs> Zinger. So many I know. Can't seem to find the Gigantors. Look at them. Just, Just look at the little cutie. I gotta grab with my left thumb now because my right one has a cut on it. Oh. <laughs> that guy's got two hooks in his mouth. Somebody else lost his hook in their mouth. That. See you, buddy. Down there, by the way, I don't want you to get stuck on that. Bring it up quick. Yeah. Oh, he's not coming. No, no, no. Oh, no. Should I give him less drag? I don't know, no, no. Just, just keep playing. He's fine, he's fine. On the back deck. <laughs> he's back this way. Gosh, can you? That should be a four pounder. I would assume so. Woo! <laughs> He's thick. There we go. Thick boy. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a pretty fish. Caught him at the, at the end of this pretty strong current here. And uh, Tyler was flogging and I got to reap the rewards of his hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this last fish of this video here on the scale. Drop shot's been killer for us today. I don't know if he'll go four, but he's 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 thick boy. Okay. Yep. Oh. What is he? That's a new PB. What 4. is it? Four point oh five. What was my last PB? Four point oh two, I think. Hey. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is your new PB, my friend. Let's go. Let's get a picture with that one. Well, boys and girls, that is gonna do it for our drop shot video up here in the in the northern country. Thanks to Colton for catching the biggest spawn of the video. I tried and, my best. Uh, Hopefully y'all learned something about the drop shot today. Like I said, it's, it's a pretty simple technique. Not a whole lot of nuance to it. I know there's like little things that I mentioned like, you know, working it higher in the water column, longer leaders. But really, as long as you got a foot, foot and a half leader, cast it out there, give it some slow shakes, you're gonna catch yourself some fish and sometimes some big fish. That finesse presentation oftentimes
is uh, has an effect on those big ones and they just can't resist it. So uh, if y'all have not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and we'll see y'all on the next episode of TRF.